talking about Vogue. Now, as promised, uh, I, I introduced him as The Voice, uh, the man who was on The Voice on BBC. I'm uh, going to be chatting to him right now. Good afternoon, Colin Chisholm. Good afternoon, Mark. How are you? I'm, I'm absolutely fine. And yourself? I'm good, Bob. I'm good away, good away. Good. Uh, now, I know you're a busy man, and uh, we, did, uh, we did try to organise the time, because uh, time is of the essence, as they say. And yeah. uh, you're busy promoting uh, this new single that you have. Yes, aye, aye. Um, all about ghosts. No, um, Ghost Riders in the Sky, uh, a very, very old song, actually. And um, <laughs> the very, very first song I ever heard in my life, would you believe? I, 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 I don't believe you're that old. I, I, the very first song I ever heard, I never wrote it. <laughs> the very <laughs> first song I ever heard because my dad uh, used to bounce myself and my brother on his knee. Uh-huh. I think that was the only thing that could get us <laughs> two guys to get to sleep when we were babies. Um, and he used to bounce us up and down on his knee. The old couple came back, but he used to speed it up. Uh-huh. Ghost Riders in the Sky. And that was the only way it got us laughingly off to sleep. And uh, that's where I first heard it. So it's strange that now I'm recording it. Huh? Oh, brilliant. So it's, it's, it's a song that means something to you. Yeah, it's all good. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Now, tell us, uh, obviously, you were on the BBC's uh, The Voice and uh, uh-huh. and it got through to the battle rounds, as far as, a, as, far as yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so tell us what's been happening since then, because uh, things things have sort of taken off again in your life. Well, yes, I And, and um, in a, a sort of slight uh, uh, different way, you know, by, by going on. I was on tour last year with uh, Don Williams. Mm-hmm. Um, legendary American country singer, Hall of Fame member, um, an all-round good guy, um, and I toured the UK with him. Uh, yeah. There was only one date in Scotland, unfortunately. That was in Glasgow Concert Hall, Royal Concert Hall. Um, toured with Don and um, myself and my guitarist, Brian Spence. Uh, we were the opening act um, uh, on the tour. Um, actually got to do the London Palladium, would you believe, and on a Sunday night. Brilliant. How about that? Absolutely, Bring back um, the variety. Yeah, that's what I say. Well, aye, aye. Um, and strangely enough, it was, it was a bit of a gamble um, as far as this particular song was concerned because we decided um, when we were rehearsing to try and get... Um, you know, I, I'm not an out-and-out country singer. Uh-huh. You know, I mean, I, I do sing anything and everything. You know, I mean, I, I tend to just rather than put myself in any one given genre... I, I do sing any song that I happen to like, you know. Um, so, and a lot of that is country. A lot of it might be rock, it might be pop ballads, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, for the country thing, for, with Don Williams, then obviously we veered and, and lent more heavily towards the countryside, obviously. Um, and Ghost Riders in the Sky was one that we took a bit of a gamble on because we did it differently um, mm-hmm. by starting with a, an Indian chant, um, which was a gamble because... <laughs> The, the crowd were just looking at you, uh, you know, and, and we can see all their faces, <laughs> wondering what's coming next, because I'm starting to, hey, uh, hey, uh, all this kind of thing. I, I can, um, I can imagine it, just, you know, the, the reaction from the audience, having listened to, to the single, uh, yeah. it, it is a very different start. Oh, it's a very different start for, for Ghost Riders, and, and you know, um, but funnily enough, it went down an absolute bomb from the first night to the last. Um I mean, a really magical feeling uh, mm-hmm. at the London Palladium for me was A, walking on the stage, and B, actually being in control of a crowd by singing my bit on the UPIA and anticipating that they were going to answer, and to a man and woman, they did. <laughs> so the UPIO. <laughs> really? Audience participation, you just can't beat it, can you? Oh, die, die. It's like a, a massive British Legion Club. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you said about all the different styles that you do. Many people uh, around the social club uh, scene uh, across uh-huh. Scotland will remember you for uh, for doing your Phantom of the Opera and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, and to do the, the country style now, and obviously you, you, you did a bit of rock uh, when you were on The Voice as well. So, yeah. you know, people people have seen all different sides of you, Colin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and from the early days with, with uh, Double Baggins, obviously that was... As far as the records were concerned, but but fairly poppy. But Bilbo Baggins as a band live were anything but poppy. You know, I mean, yeah. you know, we were, were doing pretty hard hitting stuff even at the time. Uh-huh. Um, if you want to go on YouTube and look at uh, Bilbo Baggins in concert on STV, like there's a half hour program of us playing live, which I listened to not that long ago, and actually it it, it stands up pretty well. You know, considering at that time there's no added musicians, there's no added backing tracks or anything. It's just guitar bass, drums, and lead vocal, uh-huh. and it's just 
tight as you know these little duck people that um, <laughs> <laughs> <been born. laughs> uh, and you've you've also uh, returned uh, sort of you've, you've teleported yourself back to the sixties because you've been doing some stuff with the the hippo people and some sixty shows again, haven't you? Oh yeah, I, I, I really really enjoy that. Um, it's it's usually um, I, I uh, take part with a band consisting of Davy Payton. Uh, Billy McGee, Prophet Hunter, and Dave Valentine. Um, yeah. You know, and they're all you know, great musicians uh, in their own right. And and Nobby Clark and I will go on and share vocals. But I'll do my part. Nobby will do his part, and we stand and I'll do back and vocals for Nobby, and Nobby will do back and vocals for me, uh, and then I'll stand and do back and vocals for Davy or whatever. Um, and it's just great fun. It's really good fun. Uh, the the main thing is that you have to qualify for being in that. <laughs> particular uh, super group, if you like, by being in a band in the 60s. I, I was just going to mention that. I was going to say about the, the criteria is quite tight. You had to be in a band from the 60s, yep. you have to yep. play 60s music, aye. and uh, you, you have to be of a certain age. Yes, I, I. Well, I mean, I was born in 1953, uh, so my uh, thing of being in a band in the 60s, I mean, I, I started singing when I was nine years old in Tiny and the Titans. Um, most people that have, that have actually come along to see Tiny and the Titans are now dead. <laughs> <laughs> Um, to clear the I, but I was only nine years old, so yeah. when I started in the sixties, you know, as I say, uh, nine, and then progressed um, onto the Reflection. I was in a band called the Reflection at that time. We did Opportunity Knocks and all that kind of thing as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but the sixties was a, a great time. But you know, getting away from what I did in the sixties, uh, the main thing about the sixties is the music. It's just absolutely brilliant, iconic, great songs, absolutely iconic. Now, tell, iconic. tell us about how people can get this single, Colin. Um, you can get the single, first of all, you, you can watch the single, because we, we actually recorded a video for it as well. Yeah. Uh, you'll get that on YouTube. Great stuff. Uh, just Colin Chisholm, Ghost Riders in the Sky. Have a look on YouTube. It's had, uh, I put, uh, funnily enough, year ago again, Don Williams put it on his own Facebook page. Uh-huh. Right? And overnight, uh, we, we gleamed from him like 3,000 views. Um, and then... Uh, you know, over two days, we had 558 shares Brilliant. on the on his Facebook page for, with, uh, you know, people having seen it on the Facebook page and then shared it with other people in America. Uh-huh. Um, so now we're standing at nearly 6,000 views on um, on YouTube with the video, Brilliant. Uh, which again was recorded in London with Brian Spence and myself, um, recorded in London with the song as well, and then we did the video <laughs> the next day uh, in a wee room at the back of uh, Brian's house. Uh-huh. With a green screen. <laughs> oh, great. But it doesn't look like that, does it? Uh, well, it's, I've, it's, I've, it's, I've had a look, I've had a look, and no, it doesn't look like green screen. Yeah, it's pretty good. No, 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 no. It's, it's actually very well uh, put together. Good old Brian. Um, anyway, so the, the, the video you can see on YouTube, the, the actual single you, know, you can download from uh, iTunes, Amazon, uh, Google, I, all, any and all these sort of wonderful places that you can get a hold of um, music as MP3s and all that kind of thing, you know. Um, but aye, that's where you can get it. It's not out on hard copy as yet because, you know, we're, we're taking a bit of a gamble just to, to bring it out and do the video and what yeah. have you, you know, to see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, but we do have other stuff uh, in the pipeline to see it. Once this, you know, it's really just to gauge reaction to it mm-hmm. uh, to see now, well, wait a minute, let's maybe just start heading down the, the, the countryside because, you know, the voice does suit it. The voice does suit yeah. uh, country sort of things, you know, so we'll see how it goes. Brilliant. Well, all the very best with the single, Colin. Uh, thanks very much for taking the time to uh, talk to us today. And, uh, well, thanks very much for, for your uh, part in promoting it and promoting me. I mean, I, you know, I, I can't thank you enough. I mean, when I came off with The Voice, you were the first guy on the phone as well to come along and have a word, so I, I appreciate it, Mark. As always, Colin, uh, local radio promoting local talent. That's uh, what we're all about here at Black Diamond FM. So we're going to give... Black a, Diamond uh, FM rules, OK. <laughs> we're going to give an exclusive uh, airplay to your new single, uh, and as you said, Ghost Riders in the Sky, available on Amazon and on iTunes. Colin Chisholm... That's the man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Came riding up when dark 
rested as he went along his way When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw Plowing through the ragged skies And up a cloudy draw Their brands were still on fire and their hooks were made of steel Their horns were black and shiny and their hot breath he could feel A bolt of fear went through him as they thundered through the sky He saw the riders coming hard And he heard their mournful cry Save your soul from hell, ride it on our range. Then, cowboy, change your ways today, or with us you will ride. Trying to catch the devil's herd across these endless skies. Yippee, I am. a fantastic new single from our very own Colin Chisholm. Now, if you would like to see Colin, he's doing all this big theatre stuff, but if you'd like to see Colin perform a bit more locally, on the 18th of December, he is appearing uh, for one night only at Lonehead Miners. So you can get in touch with the club there, uh, up at Lonehead Miners Club, and uh, get tickets to pop along and see Colin Chisholm. Right, I'm going to play a bit of Ed Sheeran, and then I'm going to play a single uh, by...